Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, Whew. I am still in awe of the beauty of this can. I'll let him check his watch. Um, Go check the tablet too. I, I had a... It was an alarm. Dan, what are we drinking? Uh, this beer is... Uh, <laughs> it's a beer courtesy of a... A viewer of the channel and uh, now a good friend. Oh, he was a friend before, but now he's a good friend. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I got uh, what I wanted. Now a friend. No, actually, we've been friends on like Untapped for a long time. Uh, Kenny P. Kenny, Kenny P. P. Kenny, Kenny Power out of Chi Town, baby. Uh, he sent us off a, a nice package. We did an unboxing. You can check that yeah, out. That was a uh, very nice package. I'd say we'd link it or put it up into the corner or whatever. We're not gonna. No, do we're, it. We never do. Just yeah, so Google it. Uh, this beer is from Hoppage for the World. This is their Ruby Waves. What a Dude. gorgeous freaking label. Jetsa went gorgeous. out this of I, I, out of this planet. Out of this planet. Dude, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. That is one you're like, are they selling prints of that? Uh, I want to hang out. Yeah. So this is a Simcoe and Chinook hopped yes. Red India Pale Ale. <laughs> 7% ABV. And this was canned on... Valentine's Day oh, of this year. Uh, Ocean of Love. So oh. We are three, four, two months out. We're in more like a, um, a semi oil filled puddle of love. That's, that's so, what we are. So uh, uh, we got a package from Ken. Uh, you mentioned that. Well, I was just going to say that <gasps> when he sent the package, I really. The story behind it, yeah. I had asked for a beer if he could get his hands on it, that'd be cool. And he's like, "Hey, I'll just, I'm gonna send you a whole mail." And so he's like, "Happy early birthday yeah, to super us!" Super generous, and, uh, really generous. Um, oh my, oh my! But I gotta appreciate the fact that he sent Hot Butcher first of all, but he sent different styles, which I love. Like their yeah. IPAs are good and everything, sometimes great. But I just—he <laughs> said a lot of different hot butcher styles like we have not had before. I just love checking out all their different styles. Yes, and a red IPA. Listen, I'm a huge fucking celebration fan. Yeah, uh, and like just red IPA in general. Not a lot of people dig it. I, I dig it. It's so good. We look forward to it every year, and that looks fantastic. That is a, a dark, rich, amber hashtag proper class. I swear, up in this beer. Nice. Hot butcher, foamy head, swirls up real nice. Oh my goodness. Well, that... Oh man, there's a little, little dank, little dank bitterness back there. It comes off very, very woodsy, uh, like wet. Like a, a wet, uh, vegetal kind of thing. Like, almost like you're walking through a forest after a, 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 a constant oh, drizzle. Yeah. And that, that vegetation is just kind of like... Again. Take me there. It's just... It's... I, I can't say the M word. But, uh, you know, it's the that what? word. <laughs> the M word. I hate saying it. Moss? No. Mildew? M-O-I-S-T. Oh. I don't like saying that. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, but, you know, the, the the soil, you can feel everything and smell everything and almost borderline taste it from the smell of, like, the the moss-laden trees. And, like, there's, like, almost like a, a field of marijuana after it's been doused upon. I'm not going to add anything to that. It, I would just but, do a disservice. And the, on the other end, you get, like, this huge, like, kind of, like, really pithy, like, Deep ruby red grapefruit with like a slight like blood orange thing going on. Oh, I just oh, just stinky stank, dank dank. I love it. I'm just gonna let this be a solo review because. Cheers. I took a sip. Uh, thanks, Kenny P. Bready. You have those nice, that, that nice, like, doughy bread. Not even doughy, but, like, a a, a bready uh, champion bread grain kind of thing going on. And just, like, all that, everything you got on the nose, for me, transfers over to the palate. Um, 
seven percent eh, you know body's a little thin but i welcome the crispness it's just a super soft i'm not sure if i really enjoy it. i enjoy it but not to this degree it's more on par with what i expect not as soft as a celebration though i will say that i'll shut up now that's good okay all right uh what are you ready i'm just joking <laughs> <laughs> um I, mean, I really have nothing to add to anything you're saying. It, it's a, uh, it comes across as soft, a bready, malty, pithy grapefruit is at the forefront. It kind of like that pithy bitterness coats the side of your tongue, uh, while there's some just nice citrus, grassy, like I, I said before, the the dank, weediness coming through. But it's all very balanced. Mm -hmm. uh, like you said, it's a little thin for the ABV, but I like the body on it. I, I yeah. think it's perfect for what this is. It's actually is. quite crisp. Very crisp. Uh, it's, ref it's dare I say, refreshing. I think like, it, it, yeah, it's refreshing, but um, there is that, like, lingering presence of this earthiness, this earth tone. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It's like, the earth tone I'm speaking of, it's like if you ate, like, a brown crayon. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Like, uh, like again, nothing. To like, there's, like, there's a uh, minerality kind of thing, you know. Okay. That's good. Let's check out what really good. the yeah, butch says. What do they say? Forest pine. <laughs> I am Holy a shit. I am a goddamn magician, <laughs> my friend. And I, have, uh, we avoid these like the plague. Mm -hmm. We do not because I like seeing what they say compared to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Forest pine. I just walk you through a forest. I walk you through different biological ecospheres. Like, yeah. Uh, Crushed berries. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Honeycomb toffee. Ooh, that's... That's an interesting pull. I guess. I can see that, like, this earthy kind of sweet. Because sure. there is a nice malty sweetness to it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I said malty before, but I never pulled, like, a honeycomb sweet. That's see? interesting. Okay. I know them, and they... Are teaching me, and that that's that's what a that's what a friendship is about. If you uh, watch, that's right. the, I just said I'm friends with the butch. The review we posted yesterday, you'll see how they shackled Dan. Nonsense. Uh, this is good. This Enjoy is this. really good. What do you yeah. rate it, Mike? Uh, I'll give it a I'll give it a four three. Tasty. Labels a freaking ten. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. This is good. I'll probably give it a four through five. Kenny, uh, thank you for this. This will be a four or five. My gosh, the body was just a yeah, just a touch higher. Yep, I, uh, I would man. drink this a lot, but so. this is so good. Yeah, this is nice. All right, uh, link tree down below, and uh, yeah, thank you to uh, Kenny and thank you to Hot Butcher for uh, indeed branching out and uh, making some other styles and you taking know. Dan for a walk through the forest. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Watch out, Ewoks. <laughs>